G'day everyone and welcome back to my channel for another vlog. My name's Kathy and we're just in my bedroom today. I'm just fluffing around at home, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Well actually I do have an agenda today, but I'm just doing a little bit of filming. This makeup look that I did this morning. I'm not really going anywhere so it's kind of like a, an easy makeup look for when you may go out or for just staying around the home. Um, I've got some cosmetic items that I've been loving and using and just and reusing so there's a couple of things in here that I want to show you um, which is the makeup look that I did today. That is where I do my makeup, that's my vanity. I just brushed my hair out, I curled it yesterday did go out last night. Um, I didn't take my makeup off yesterday, so my eyelashes um, were kind of stuck together when I woke up, and it's a really bad habit of mine, so I've got to get better at doing that. But I've got a little tip that can counteract that. So I take the makeup wipe and I just press it on my lashes like this, and I kind of smudge it along the lashes, and it does remove some of the makeup as in the mascara so anyway just getting into the video there's a few things in this bag here that I've been using of course I'm still loving my Zoeva brushes and this is from the rose gold collection and the two in particular is this Lux crease 228 fluffy brush and I really love this for getting into the crease of my eye and this one here which is the 105 Lux highlighting brush and I use this to set my makeup with a Laura Mercier brightening powder underneath so that's what I like to use and then I go over it and take all the excess product off after you kind of bait your face <laughs> that sounds so funny so they're the two brushes I've been loving and for the base um, as I was saying before, like in one of my other videos, my cousins in Canada have introduced me to Clinique and I must say I did use that skincare back in the day when I was younger, but I've been reintroduced to it again and I'm loving this Clinique all about eyes rich eye cream and this is a really nice, not too thick, but kind of thick um, cream and it's perfect for under the eyes. If I put too much on, I definitely just move it into the rest of my face and it's a beautiful moisturizer and then i also love which i put on first is this clinique moisture surge hydrating supercharged concentrate and this one here has these little bubbles of goodness in the middle of them and that is the technical term and these moisture surge um super active bubbles they really hydrate your skin. So this is perfect for me, perfect for anyone. If your skin is like mine and it's kind of dry around these areas here, this is a really nice um, moisturizer and base and it actually very little goes a really long way. So that's something else I've been loving. And then on my lips, I've been wearing the By Terry Balm de Rose and I bought this at Christmas from Mecca. And I was intending to give it to someone as a gift, but I thought it's too stinking cute and I need to keep it and plus it smells divine and I'm so glad I did. I, I just applied a little bit on my lips before I put my makeup on and then when I put my lipstick on I just take that off. Another product that I'm loving is the Too Faced Hangover Primer and this is the Coconut Water Primer. I have used this before and this is like the third one that I've been through. This is silicon free. Like it's just a really nice light moisturizing primer and it smells wonderful. I love anything with coconut water and this one is still a favorite. And um, so I went back to that one because I had used it before. And of course, this is the second time I've purchased the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye concealer and this is the illuminating brightening concealer and this one is so nice I just make sure I put it in the corners of my eyes also make sure that I blend it into my skin and then I also need to be sure that I put some powder to set it afterwards because it can look cakey on me because I tend to overdo it also what I love to wear and I've been loving this is the Le Beige's 
Healthy Glow Sheer Tinted Moisturiser and this one is in the medium and so if you're like me and you still want to see your freckles or your skin and you don't really want to have a cakey foundation look this is perfect and it's so good in warm weather it performs in cold weather as well because I brought it with me to Canada and it's just like another layer of moisturizer and it's super hydrating it smells great it smells like the Le Lift moisturizer actually um, and look at the packaging it's so stinking cute who wouldn't want to buy it so that is the Chanel one and if we're talking about other makeup which is kind of new and um, something that I purchased recently this cream eyeshadow from Chanel and this one is in shade number 844 and it's like a really beautiful golden color and it has a really nice soft shimmer not too iridescent and then I also bought this in at the same time I bought this fantastic jumbo crayon and this is for your lips so this is really good because what it does is lines your lips and you can fill them in like a giant crayon and it's like a one-step lip product this one is in a shine but they also come in a matte and I just think it's like a really handy item to keep in your handbag and just really quick you don't even need a mirror to apply it if you get a neutral color like this And then just to finish off the makeup look for the rest of the products that I have in here, um, I've got the eyeshadow from Chanel that I wear quite often when I'm doing just a natural look. And this is the Rose de Maya, it's number 92. This is quite an old color, or it's from a permanent range, um, but it's a really peachy nude, it's really pretty. And I've just put that in the creases of my eyelids today. For bronzer, I'm wearing the Bronzing Stones by YSL and this one is number three and it's just like a really nice bronze. It's a bronzing colour but you can also wear that as an eyeshadow. For blush, I've got my Chanel number 13 candy and this is a very nice peachy natural looking colour and just enough for your skin to give yourself a little bit of a glow. And of course, the Too Faced Love Light Ray of Light Highlighter. And this is so pretty. It's like a rose gold highlighter. And I always go a little bit crazy with applying these sorts of things on my cheeks and powder products. I just love powder products, actually. So that's it. I've also got my Jo Malone fragrance on today, which is my weekend fragrance of choice. And it is the Freesia and Pear Cologne. Um, for my birthday, my husband bought me some gorgeous Jo Malone products, like a whole range of things, candle, skin, um, moisturizer, and the cologne, and so really, really nice. And this is the finished look. Just run the brush through my hair. I put on some earrings. These are the ones that I bought from Rodeo Drive from the Tiffany store in Beverly Hills all those years ago and I'm wearing this ring today this is one that was purchased in Italy on one of our trips and I'm so glad you could join me on this lazy weekend here in Sydney 